Yeah, the Victorian election is uh, just uh, six days away and the big play was by the Liberals, um, Andrew, when, uh, when they decided to preference Labor ahead of the Greens. Here's Ted Bailey on that topic. Are you saying that they are worse than Labor? In, in terms of their unresolved policy positions, yes, uh, that's the proposition we are putting. We want a clear choice, Neil, and that's, that's what this is about. This, this will leave Victorians in no doubt that we want stability, we want a government that can govern. Uh, govern. It's a big call, but just suspect he, he's won some respect for it. I think he has. I wish he'd put it a little bit more forcefully than that little grab <laughs> indicated, which is one of his problems. But, um, no, absolutely. Look, the point is the Greens are in favour, boil it down to its essence, the uh, deindustrialisation of our society. That's what they're about. That's what it is. And as such, represent a greater threat than any other party uh, main, uh, that w that's likely to win a, a seat in Parliament. Mm -hmm. the, and obviously that's the, most, the party most at odds with the Liberals. Now, the fact is, by playing footsies with the idea that they would go hugger mugger with the Greens, it just fed that perception that the Liberals didn't know what they stood for and that Ted Valley didn't know and was, was a well, closet Green himself. Yeah, and the point you say, that he doesn't put these things forcefully enough, that uh, proposition was put to him as well. You sort of stroll into Parliament looking very relaxed and here we go, rather than uh, storming in ready to tear the place apart. I'll run in next time with boxing gloves on, Neil. I will say that I, I am careful when I'm moving around because I'm a big bloke and I don't want to, uh, don't want to do any damage on the way, Neil. Look, it's, he is understated, um, but he may be sneaking up on them. I think there, there is... I don't think there's much doubt that this campaign has been better for him than it has for Labor. I think the campaign has crystallised more doubts that Labor's been in uh, for 11 years and where's the money gone? One project after another blown. And it's blown in part because of the green agenda that they've adopted. Uh, but I would say that a couple of things. One is it's taken the Liberals a little time to sharpen the contrast. I, th I still think they'll fall a bit short, but they might win. Mm. Uh, but the other thing is here is an argument against fixed-term parliaments because no one fired the starting gun really to make people aware that the election was on and yeah. focused on it and it's sort of we've drifted into it sure. and I think this is a real a real mistake and and but there's a contrast in Victoria I would suggest in New South Wales I mean there's not a great deal of dissatisfaction with either leader in Victoria mm. in oh, New South Wales it's uh, oh everyone's just lining, lining up to watch the road crash in New South Wales it's it's mm. it's just by how much and and, and the uh, fallout from it that that election's in March no one, no one gives the Labor government a hope in hell, um, but it's just all the, there's a lot of sort of wheels within wheels. What's going to happen after? As people are already starting to cover, so, cover so themselves for the. Yeah. For some the of the issues are the same. I mean, all state governments are, are facing the demand for public transport, the demand for schools, more spending on schools, more spending on hospitals, and so forth. They, the state governments just can't keep up with this, and I think that's mm -hmm. even in Victoria, that's giving the state Labor government. A lot of headaches, even though it's more competent, obviously, than the New South Spot Wales. On. You know what the problem is? In Victoria, it now seems from the uh, Bureau of Stats that our growth per head of population mm. is the weakest of any state, right? Mm. And yet, when you have a look at both leaders, how, how, neither have really said, this is how we grow the pie. Almost all the debate has been how we split it up. Okay, and the fact is, we're uh, lagging. We have to move on. More with our panel shortly. Phil Curry, Brian Turi and Andrew Bolt. And now here's Mike Bowers and Talking Pictures.